Ryan and I were recovering up with the Ehotep figure from the Moon Returns by Jack Specific. This is my second mummy figure I got at Frankenstein's for 20% off. Actually, it was 5% off. It was originally 25, so it's $20. So let's look into articulation. The articulation of this figure is really accurate. Both sides, 360, however it is. Even the hands are articulated too. I didn't get to show, I'm sorry. Same for the other side, there's a little ink blotch in the arm. I don't know why it's there. I'll clean this winner. The head is articulated as well, 360. The hip as well is articulated, but it just looks weird and sometimes. The legs are kind of hindered because of the little end of pants or something, whatever it's called. So yeah, it looks a pretty cool figure. And the calves and leg side is articulated too. If you see there, it's totally articulated. Now for details, you can notice here the emo tip is actually a mummy. So he has a lot of scars. The cape here, I don't know if that's a symbol of him. And yeah, you can see a detailer scar. You can see a scar in his shoulder and his cheek too. And size comparison too, we can also see that He's a good size compared to the Scorpion King, which happens to be my first mummy figure I ever got at Frankenstein last year. So, yeah, this is a really cool figure. So, yeah, I'm planning to get Rick O'Connell, though, see what size compared with them. The Imhotep and the Scorpion King, too. And such a coincidence, though, is that the hole in his shoulder would just be perfect for a keychain. Like a huge keychain, you know. I'm using a Velociraptor from Mattel from Jurassic World just to show you guys who let me stab. So anyway though, thanks for watching my review and I hope you subscribe and leave a comment and make sure leave a like too. And also make sure I haven't been posted for a long time, so very sorry. So anyway, thank you and peace out.